Hello YouTube and welcome to my channel. I know, I know, I know. Long overdue, but it feels so good to say that. No, you all probably don't know me, but if you do, or if you don't, or if you may know, I was featured in my sister and my brother's YouTube channel. We did a collab. It was a brother versus husband and it reached 95,000 views. I read you all comments and I was just so eager to get on here and give you all what you've been asking for. You all have been asking for me. You all have been asking, where's your, asking Mia, where's your brother, where's your brother, where's your brother? What is his YouTube channel? What is his ad? Where's his music? Well, guess what? It's coming and this is the start. So let's get into the video. Today, I'm going to be building a gingerbread house. And also I'm gonna be answering a few questions about myself so that you all can get to know me better. Cause of course you all don't know me. So let's change that. Here on this notepad I have right here is a few questions that you all have been asking her in her comments about me. And then some I mixed in just so you can get to know me a little bit better. So I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna open this box and we're gonna, whew, we're gonna make us a gingerbread house. I've never made one before. I'm the type of person who do not like to read instructions. So um, bear with me. Like, I really do. I hate reading instructions. There are actually times where I put stuff together, got all the way to the last step, and, like, of course, it didn't connect because I didn't read. Reading is fundamental. Okay. So, I will be using only the products that came inside the box. I would not be doing nothing additional. Um, so, you have... Royal Icing. I'm sorry, my camera's so far away. Royal Icing. You have some candy dinkleberries. What? We have five peppermints. We have some snowflakes. And then, I don't know what these are, but they like some little circle candies. We have some green trees. I guess these are the type, oh, they're different um, piping tips. And then of course we have the gingerbread house right here and then we have the base that it actually sits on. So I've seen my sister Mia and Vladdy Milanovic video when they did their gingerbread house and I seen that they had trouble keeping theirs together. The gingerbread house I got, it cheats a little bit, so it help you. Uh, I guess it helps the house keep its form. So, let's get into it. I'm gonna open the gingerbread house now. Um, so while I do this, I can start with some of the questions. The first one is name and age. I, my name is Jawan Brown. Hey, think about my own name. What the hell? Crazy. My name is Jawan Brown. I am 24 years old. And my zodiac sign is Scorpio. I am a late Scorpio. So I'm a late November Scorpio. And I probably should read. I probably should read. Oh, damn, maybe I should, I should read, right? So I am a late November Scorpio. Um, I'm fun. I'm the fun Scorpio. I like to have fun. Not the fun you all are thinking about nasties. Um, oh, Jesus. So the next question after that was my height. I am 5'8". So sometimes I go to the doctor, they say I'm five seven and a half, then sometimes they say I'm five eight. So we just gonna go with five eight. My inspiration to start YouTube, my inspiration to start YouTube was actually working with Mia and Vladdy and just seeing the reactions that we first of all shooting with them was extremely fun. It was super late at night as well. Let's start there. We had just left my niece's graduation party, and of course I got messed up shame on me but we had a really 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 dope time we had a good time and um 
in the comment sections, a lot of people have been asking like, oh, what, what happened to your brother? When is he coming back on your channel? Do he have his own channel? Um, she also mentioned that I sing, so they was asking, oh, where's his music? And obviously there was nothing put out there because I didn't put anything out. So all of that is gonna change. It's changing starting now. Um, yeah. Also, I work too. Not to mention, I am a full-time salary worker. I am a food and beverage manager in the healthcare industry. I work at a retirement community currently and it's one of the top communities in the South Side. So it's a pretty busy day, but it's extremely, I love the residents. I love my employees. I love what I do. So that's always a plus. I'm reading the instructions, but this is just not working out for me. All right. Um, I like to live life on the edge, but when it comes down to take taking like just different risks and actually putting myself out there in a different light that most people have not seen, I tend to kind of run from that. So I wanted to make that change. I'm back, everyone. I just ran out of storage, came back, then the icing bag busted, they had to find this and ripped it up and put this in the microwave, just made a disaster. Now this is hardening and, oh, oh pray for me. So this is my first YouTube video. At this point, by myself, independent, when I was with the Milanoviches, everything was like organized. I'm normally an organized person, but this ain't it. This is going to stress me out. I can tell you that much. But it's okay. We got this. Oh, so I thought, but it's okay. Look. Making sac sac sacrifices. What's going on? Shit. Oh. Alrighty. So we're going to put this tip in there like that. And then we're just going to... I'm just gonna do this. I'm not gonna even pour it all out of the bag. I'm leaving it in there. Because so much, I think I just took, of course y'all won't see it because it's gonna be cut, but I just took probably a 10 minute intermission to get all this together. I can't seem to get this together. <laughs> if it's not one thing, it's a, a, another. So I just brought more storage on my phone and now it's still telling me that I don't have enough storage. <sighs> We're gonna get we're gonna get through this video at once. All right, so favorite celebrity. My favorite celebrity is Beyonce, of course. I mean, who don't love Queen B? She is amazing. Her art speaks to me. Especially if you are a if you're into music, um I'm not saying you have to love Beyonce. I mean, I don't see why you wouldn't, but she's literally like the queen, respectfully. She's the queen. Finally, my house is sewn together. I got the front, the back, and the sides on. I'm gonna go ahead and pipe this just a little bit on the side, just to make sure that it's going to stay. I don't got time for this thing to fall again. This thing is driving me crazy. So you know what I'm gonna do? We're gonna pipe that like, like that. Boom, we'll bound, period, don't move. We're gonna do this side, boom, don't move. And then we're gonna do this. I know why I'm standing up. I ran out of storage again. <sighs> I'm just gonna, you know what? I'm gonna move fast. I'm gonna move fast because this is gonna drive me crazy. If I run out of storage one more time, I'm gonna just lose my, I'm gonna I'm, 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 I'm lose my head. Okay, so we're gonna move on to favorite foods before this camera cut off again. At least I can at least get in some questions. I mean, come on now. Favorite food. Can I, can I please say that before you cut off? Dang. Favorite food. My favorite food is, 
I don't really have a favorite food, but I will tell you my favorite fast food restaurant, no matter what the situation is, no matter if I had a night out on the town drinking, drinking with friends, drinking, 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 drinking. I don't drink that much, but just if I was drinking, if I was sober, not drinking, if I was shoot, just sitting in the house watching movies, my favorite restaurant that can never, never do no wrong, that will always please and satisfy me. It's Wingstop. Don't don't do it. Do not do that. Ain't even real chicken. Wingstop. Oh my gosh, y'all! I love me some Wingstop. I don't know when did this start because I used to, I used to wasn't a big fan of Wingstop. They built one around my grandmother's house, but around the time I was still living with her, um. It was a wow, and like it was there for a while. And I was always, my mom, like, what y'all want to eat? And we're rapping as Wingstop, and I've never said that I wanted Wingstop. Like, it just really, I don't know. It was, it's something about these adult years where I'm starting to like a lot of foods that I used to did not like back in the day. It's crazy. And yes, I said, yes, yeah, so I do live alone. I've been on my own for three years now. into an apartment all the way in Merrillville and re keep in mind y'all I work on the south side of Chicago and I moved to Merrillville so I was making that daily commute every single day I put over 30 something 30,000 miles on my car in one year making that commute it was ridiculous but that was my first place that I actually got on my own with no help at all and then the second place is, well, third place, sorry. Second place I got on my own is this one that I'm currently in. And this hopefully is my last apartment. My lease is almost up. I only have a few some things left. So I, I do plan on buying another house if that's in God's will. Um, but if not, then I'll be renting again. Not here though. I want to be... I'm kind of thinking about going, moving into the neighborhood where I want to start my life just so I can kind of get familiar with that neighborhood. Um, I actually think that's a smart thing to do as well. So um, I am looking into that. Um, look at that coming together. You see that? Man, I, I, I got this. I got this. So I am looking into that. This should all be exciting, actually. Um... So yeah, been on my own since I was, I would say 21, 21 or 22. I'm currently 24, so boom, got it, done, like that. So I'm running out of icing, y'all. So I'm only gonna do the front, probably the side, if I gotta know. This is a disaster. Mm. I ran out of stuff for the damn house. You know what? Let me make this work. I don't care. I don't care. So, my hobbies. Juwan, what are your hobbies? I love to sing. I love to cook. Hence, I'm a food and beverage manager. I love to dance. I can dance all day. I'm becoming an old soul. So I like to, um, all of a sudden this just happened. I like to play cards now. I love to have family over. These aren't hobbies. I'm sorry. I'm just all over the place. But I love to have family over. I love to have friends over. I love to play games. Not video games. I'm not a video gamer. I do not watch a lot of TV. Um... It's very rare that you would find me watching TV. I'll probably in my house listening to music with headphones on like I don't live alone. That's one habit I still haven't got out of is not wearing headphones. I wear my headphones in my own home like someone else is here instead of when I can just play the music out loud. And thankfully, the building I live in, oh my gosh, it's one of the best. Like, you can't hear nothing. The most you would hear is maybe footsteps from the people upstairs, but that's probably it and it's very rarely that you even hear that so um yeah 
I like it a lot. This is not, I live in a very good air neighborhood. I'm literally walking distance from a lot of things. So that's nice. Y'all, I'm so mad. Would you start falling? You do too much. Just stay up. Hey, you keep falling. The other one ain't falling. Why you gotta be the eyeball? Little dusty cell. Ooh, this is gonna be cute. With or without no ice and watch this. Let me show y'all how how creative I can get. That's also enough. That's a hobby of mine too. I love to design. Um, just don't give too much effect on camera as it do in person. But it's because you can't see over there either. This is like literally a whole vibe. I have a um it's like a little it's like a little bar area and I got like these crates full of games. And then um you can't really see all of this over here, but it's nice. It's nice. So I like to design. I designed my whole apartment by myself. Styled it, sorry, not designed it. Styled it by myself, um, which is a very fun thing to do. I have a lot of callings on my life too that I just, I ignore because I'm lazy. I'm not lazy, but I make up an excuse every time someone Oh, I got a job for you I got an assignment for you Can you do this for me? Can you do that for me? I'm like this Dang See what happened was I know, but I'm gonna get it together, y'all I be busy on the low I got some things that I just <laughs> Let me stop lying on this motherfucking camera I go to work, I come home. I go to work, come home. Then I go back to work, come home. Don't y'all hate when people trying to act like they just so busy, booked and busy. Girl, you finna go home to your nine kids. Ooh, that was another one of the questions. Do I want children? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I want children. I really want a family, but I will not be starting my family until I'm in my 30s. I do want to be married when I have kids. No, it will not be by a woman, so don't even ask that question. Um, I'm kidding, you guys, whatever you want. But I'm just letting you know now. It will not be by a woman. Um, well, you know what? I was going to say whatever God decide, but I know Brenda did that for me. Um, <laughs> um, I, so I do want children. I want to have them in my 30s, like I said, because I want to just be able to give them all my time. I feel like you have more patience in your 30s um, when it comes down to raising children, because I know it's not easy. I grew up around children. I actually have a godson who I had a lot when he was younger, and I also was taking helping taking care of um one of my little cousins, and this was all recently. So I got to experience having actual children. That goes deeper, but we ain't gonna go that deep into it. But yeah, so I got to experience it and I realized that I want to be older when I actually have my own children because I wanna make sure that I, you know, I can provide and do a lot for a lot more for them than I was able to do for the ones that wasn't mine that I had. So I don't like these colors. Sorry, mom, but purple is not for me. She loved purple. That's my favorite color. That I was raised in a one-parent home. Um, I knew my father, though. He was in, he was in my life. Um, rest his soul. He passed this October, which was very de devastating and rough for me. Um, but I'm still here. I I'm alive. I'm doing good. I'm I'm grieving pretty pretty well. I mean, it's not easy. I will say that. I have days where, you know, I wake up. Oh, my gosh. The craziest thing. So, I wake up and I would just start crying. Like, tears would be falling out of my eyes, but I'm not, like, crying. Like, making sounds crying. And I was like, one day, I, would, I felt so normal and the tears were just falling. I'm like, what's wrong with me? Like, what is going on? What is going on? And I did my research. And, of course, they said that's a form of grievance, especially when you just lost someone. So, I'm like, oh, okay. Which I knew that that's what that was. But I'm like, 
Um, I'm not even crying for real. Like, what are you doing? But nah, it was um, it's bittersweet. Okay, so right now I'm making snowflakes on the side of the road. Y'all, this is gonna be cute. Don't okay in the comments. Do not come for my gingerbread house. Just make this video act like this is just y'all getting to know. Cause this is this is terrible. I feel bad. If I would have known, like, if I did a gingerbread house before, I would have made sure that I had all the stuff that I need to make this. Per Dang old thing came out. I'll take this. Okay. 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 That's thick. Mm -mm, why that's so thick? I would have made sure I made this perfect for y'all, but since I didn't have, I never made one before. Never built a um, gingerbread house. So I didn't know the requirement. Ooh. That, it got a good aftertaste. I'm like, mmm, 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 mmm. Somebody just fell down the stairs. That was actually good. Mm. You know what? Okay, y'all. We finna zoom through this. Let me show you what we finna zoom. No, it's coming out cute though. Look, I'm finna show y'all. Put some snow on the, the path. I'm finna show y'all how to make y'all. Y'all don't know be knowing what y'all doing with y'all the houses. My house. It keep falling apart, but I get well, what they say. With love, you can build a strong house. <laughs> I just made that up. Oh, Jesus. With love, you can build a strong... That's true. That's actually true. Now that I think about it. Y'all, oh my gosh. This is a disaster. This is... A big disaster. You know what? Okay. 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 <laughs> I think I, this is it. Because between the storage on this phone, if y'all see, it's a lot of cutoffs in this video. That's why, because my storage, I have a lot of pictures. So I'm going to delete my pictures. I did not know that that was going to affect this video. But I have so many pictures between that. I just had to delete some apps, buy more storage. And a whole nine yards just so I can get this video. Bear with me. This is my first YouTube. I didn't know it was going to be this hard. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to know more about me, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell down below so that you can know, be the first one to watch my video whenever I post. Um, like I said, this is my first YouTube video. This is just my house. It look okay, right? It's a little disaster, but it's not that bad. Look, I'm gonna put it on a little prairie. Look at that. Ooh, don't fall. Look at that. Boom, gal! Big boy house! <laughs> don't forget to like, subscribe, comment if you like this video. Um... There's more videos to come. If you want to see more, keep following me. One little more about me. Keep following me. If you want to... I don't even know. Bye!